Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Intune error 8018014. What does this error? What is the reason for this error? How to fix this issue? This is happening when user is getting enrolled to Intune using their Windows device. So we will see what are the options to resolve the issue and is it a server side issue or a client side issue etc etc. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's understand Intune error 8018014. What is the reason for this error? Why it says unsupported Windows version even if we are using Windows 11 Enterprise. We have a detailed video about troubleshooting. This is very important to check this out over here if you click on i button over here in youtube you will get that video details you can watch the video from there so it is a process you need to follow that process you need to start from intune troubleshooting portal basically try to understand whether the account is having any issue or whether the account is having proper intune license or not etc and then you can go to the next level of troubleshooting something like for this particular 801 one for issue you need to check the event logs because this error is related to Intune enrollment so that is the MDM part and that is where you need to check the event logs as we can see over here let's go to the next slide if you check the event logs for this particular issue you will get different types of event IDs 55 71 event ID 11 event ID 52 and event ID 59 error details are bit different but somehow same it says MDM server does not support this platform or version considering upgrading your device and you are getting the same error over here also and over here as well and over here it says device not supported and this is a different error it says it is an error from server side not from the client side that's why it says server context now let's get into a demo and understand the issue and what are the options to resolve the issue fix the issue 8018001014 in tune issue okay so let's try to enroll a particular device by logging into azure vm over here this is the azure vm and windows 11 22h2 device and i am going into accounts from settings app and in the accounts you have to go to access work or school I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to enroll this as a personal device enrolling that and now I need to provide the email ID of that particular user this is the email ID of that particular user I have done that now I need to click on next click on next now it is looking for organizational details and once it has looked up organizational details it will ask for the password I need to enter the password now I have entered the password now I need to click on sign in button to continue the process okay now it is trying to register with the organization trying to get into Intune management using device enrollment and it says ah okay your organization does not support this version of windows error is 8018014 so i got an error and i don't know what is the reason for that we will find out the reason what does this mean your organization does not support this support this version of windows I click on got it and then we'll go back over here and try to launch the event log okay now you can see in the event logs as we discussed in the presentation this is the event log for MDM scenarios device management enterprise diagnostic if I go over here you would be able to see it comes under application and services now what I can see over here is there's an error over here also and it says enrollment via UX failed result the mobile device management MDM server does not support this platform or version consider upgrading your device that is bit weird event ID is 71 and there is a event ID 11 as well so if you click on that 
fail to receive or parse certificate enrolled response the mobile device management server in this case it's in tune does not support this platform or version that's really interesting so we have seen two events and then there's a new event id that is 52 server returned fault code subcode value device not support device identifier not pre-registered that's a different event id and there's a different event again that is 59 that is also an error and it says server context okay, so there are a different variety of events happening over here there's another event that is 3013 function name object was not found etc etc let's understand what is the version of this whether this is a home version or enterprise version let's check that out it is windows 11 enterprise operating system and even though it is windows 11 enterprise it is saying this particular version is not supported so that means it is a bit weird and it is not giving the proper information so let's click on ok and let's check what is the cause of this issue maybe because of one of the policy in intune let's check out that particular policy this is intune portal in intune portal go to devices and then go to enrollment over here from devices enrollment and from enrollment just go to windows and then click on device platform restrictions let's check what is configuration over there don't get confused with the first one because the default one whenever you go to device enrollment device type restriction policy it will show the android restrictions let's go to windows because that is what we are dealing with click on windows and then check the first priority one and it is blocked personal devices okay that's interesting personal devices are blocked for this particular intune scenario so click on our properties and then if you go down you would be able to see this is assigned to all the users so this particular user which we tried to enroll into a personal device that is probably that is the reason okay now let's change the platform settings for testing and oh okay it is personal devices are blocked now let's go back and check whether the this is a personal device or not okay who am i it says it is logged in with a local username and password okay that is why it is giving this issue it is a personal device and that is why intune is not allowing this particular device to get into enrollment because personally owned device is blocked how do we define personally owned device or professionally owned device if it is a azure ad joint device then intune will treat as a non personally owned device so that is a company owned device if it is azure ad joint if it is azure ad joint device then it is a company owned device or corporate device but if you are logging into a device which is not azure ad joint or domain joint and then you are logging in with the personal account then it is treated as personally owned device that is why it is getting blocked now quickly try to change this policy or you can create another policy for this particular user if you want to allow this particular user to have byo scenario i would recommend to create different restriction policy and then deploy that policy to a particular user in this case i am going to change this policy and click on review and save save now we have changed that policy to allow now it should allow us to enroll this personal device to intune let's try that again click on enroll only in device management option and enter the email id entering the email id over here and click on next now probably it is going to ask for the password let's enter the password now and click on sign in yes i am going to click on yes and then now you can see the message will where windows is trying to register this device with mdm in this case it is intune okay mdm server that is intune in this scenario and it says 
setting up your device it will take few minutes to connect to your school or workplace that's good but you can see the enrollment got successfully completed so you can click on got it button and probably you can try to install company portal click on get downloading started downloading it installing it's installed let's open it probably it will ask for the username and password again okay click on next and then you need to enter the password okay let's enter the password now sign in and i'm going to allow this because i want this device to be managed from intune so i'm going to click on ok button over here and i need to ensure that this is checked we have already enrolled the device using the settings app but this is just a process which you need to follow so it says okay we are added your account successfully and you have now access to organizations data apps services etc click on done to continue and over here in the event logs you would be able to see some interesting information like okay everything is good etc etc so that is also fine let's go back and check what is happening from a intune portal side of things devices if i go to devices and check windows you can see intune testing vm that is and rolled now it says personal vm and it is complain so you can see all those details over here in the intune portal that's good you can check device complaints configured discovered devices hardware details normally discovered apps etc is going to take some time to get the status you need to wait until that time you can check this from info over here if you want click on info and then you can check what are the policies applied whether there is any policy or deployment there for this device etc so this you can easily test now the error is gone we don't have any 801 8014 errors so we are able to resolve that issue now that you have seen all the details about the intune error 801 80014 now you know why intune says this platform is not supported and this os version is not supported when we are using windows 11 enterprise version this is because of the server side issue and server side restriction policy which we have set so you need to reconfigure the policy and then you need to try to enroll that windows device again to intune that will help you to resolve the issue hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around